Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's Spurs video, doing a weekend forecast for today's Spurs video. So, as always, on a Saturday, we're having a look at the weather for the week ahead. And yes, it's true, the hot weather is on the way. We're going to have a little bit of a mini heat wave. Uh, temperatures are going to be rising into the 30s Celsius for the first time this summer. That's going to get us into the mid to possibly upper 80s Fahrenheit. Well, totally right, chance of 90 Fahrenheit, 32 Celsius. Sorry, in the southeast towards Thursday or Friday will depend We've got thunderstorms breaking out by that point uh, uh, as well, though. Uh, so, yes, very interesting weekend forecast coming up. And I'll get on with that for you very shortly. Just say we're coming up later on today. We've got the uh, regular 10 to 14 day the update with all of the usual features. And then tonight, we've got the CFS versus Beijing Climate Centre mashup. That'll be with you around 6, 7 o'clock. Uh, right, so the uh, website so you can for weekend forecasts are coming from wetsense.de and theweatherout.com is starting with the radar from Gav's Weather Vids. And here we go. So we've got some sh just some light showers across parts of the south southwest Midlands down here. One or two up across Northern. They have been very light and trivial, but there's just one or two showers around. Some heavier rain now is just starting to move into the western part of uh, the Republic of Ireland. That's a sign of some wet and windy weather on the way later on this afternoon and overnight. But otherwise, it's a pretty quiet scene across most parts of the country. Here today, sort of pressure chart. So high pressure is trying to build to our southwest, and also we've still got the Scandinavian high across Scandinavia, but actually for this weekend, it's this low pressure in the Atlantic that's the main, main driver. Deep area of low pressure, and that's going to be bringing wet and windy weather across the country through the rest of the, to, this afternoon, this evening, and overnight tonight. So uh, we could get one or two showers breaking out across eastern parts of the country, but really many central east areas are going to be dry through the course of the, this afternoon with uh, bright or sunny spells and variable amounts of cloud. One or two of the showers could be quite sharp, but I think any one place will be quite unlucky to get a shower this afternoon in the east. Most places are going to stay dry. Now, out in the west, it's a different story. This area of low pressure will bring wet and windy weather up the western side of the country uh, through the latter part of the afternoon. So I think you see heavy rain and strong winds setting in uh, across Northern Ireland during the afternoon and into the late afternoon and early evening. We'll see that wet and windy weather just beginning to push onto western coast of Scotland, northwest England, West Wales, southwestern England too. That will be more likely uh, later on in the evening, uh, of course. Temperature today are going to be ranging. Uh, from around, uh, say, 16 degrees in uh, the northwest to around 21 in the southeast. 21 is 70 Fahrenheit. Now, of course, it's the summer solstice uh, today. So uh, the sun is in um, is at its highest point in uh, the northern hemisphere, which means we have our longest day and our shortest night. So for our shortest night uh, of the year, we're going to have wet and windy weather sweeping across the country. Uh, so yes, band of rain and strong winds across western areas through the first part of the night will transfer eastwards through the second part of the night, uh, eventually becoming clearer uh, out to uh, the west uh, as that rain pushes through. Winds will be quite strong for all of us, but particularly so at the western side, and I think we'll see gale force gusts possible for a time uh, tonight uh, through Northern Ireland and possibly in some parts of western Scotland as well. It will be a mild night, though, so despite wind and rain on this shortest night of the year, at least it will be mild, <laughs> with temperatures uh, ranging from around 8 to 12. 12 is just 54 Fahrenheit, actually quite warm into Sunday and low pressure is still in control of the weather but the ridge of high pressure from the Azores is beginning to make its move starting to push up into uh, the south and the southwest <coughs> excuse me so we start Sunday on a wet note across eastern parts of the country some of the rain will be quite heavy um, but I think down in the southeast, it's likely to be quite patchy, actually. But in the, in the north, like for northeast England, East Scotland will be quite heavy there. That rain quickly moves away into the North Sea. Brighter skies following along behind. But as it brightens up, we will set off showers on these westy winds. So if Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, the sunshine and showers will be breaking out during the course of that Sunday afternoon. Some of them could be quite heavy, possibly with a few clashes of thunder. Very few, if any, showers down in the south, but of South Wales, uh, the Midlands, central southern England. I think here we uh, stay largely dry once that rain clears away first thing in the morning. 
Temperatures tomorrow, perhaps a degree up on today, ranging from around 16 uh, again in the north to possibly 22 in the southeast corner. And then let's go through to Monday. The high pressure from the Azores is beginning to uh, develop and intensify across southern and east parts of the country. Still settled out to west with these west southwest winds. So on Monday, Scotland Northern Ireland will have cloud and showery outbreaks of rain. Some of that rain could be quite heavy across western Scotland and Northern Ireland. England and Wales should be mostly dry uh, with uh, really good uh, spells of sunshine coming through. Temperatures are going to get very warm in the southeast on uh, Monday afternoon in that sunshine, probably rising to around 24, maybe 25. That's 75 to 77 in Fahrenheit. And that really sets the scene then for the rest of the week. This is Tuesday. Again, this low pressure being pushed out to the northwest. High pressure increasingly taking over across the country and to our east. Winds coming in from an east to south easy direction. So still cloud and showering outbreaks of rain for Western Scotland and possibly for Northern Ireland, but the majority of the country looks dry on Tuesday with uh, absolutely bags of sunshine down across southern and eastern areas, probably unbroken sunshine uh, actually during Tuesday across many southern and eastern parts of the country. Temperatures will be lifting up all the time, so I think our range on Tuesday is probably from around 20 in the far northwest at 68 Fahrenheit to maybe around 27 or 28 in the southeast corner, that's around 81 to 82 Fahrenheit. High pressure still dominates the weather on Wednesday. So, again, we're looking at lots of dry and fine weather. Even the far northwestern corner of Scotland should be turning mostly dry on Wednesday. So, uh, yes, I think basically it's a case of long sunny spells, unbroken sunshine through most parts of the country and becoming very warm, probably hot, actually, down in the southeast. Uh, I think you see temperature going to around 30 in the southeast corner for the first time this year on Wednesday. That is 86 Fahrenheit quite widely across. The country will see temperatures into the mid to upper 20 Celsius, so very warm to hot with bags of sunshine and mostly dry weather on Wednesday. The high pressure just begins to weaken ever so slightly uh, on Thursday. So uh, what we can find happening on Thursday is that more cloud starts to bubble up and a few thunderstorms break out. However, I think for Thursday, the emphasis is still on mostly dry weather, really, through uh, many parts of the country. Again, plenty of sunny spells coming through. Probably not the unbroken sunshine of Tuesday and Wednesday, but nevertheless, there will be plenty of sunshine around. A uh, band of cloud and patchy rain possible west of Scotland and Northern Ireland. As I say, clouds likely to bubble up on Thursday afternoon, producing a scattering of heavy showers or thunderstorms. I think they'll be quite hit and miss, but if you get one, it is likely to be uh, pretty intense. Temperatures widely ranging from around, say, 27 to 30, so that's around 81 to 86 Fahrenheit. It would totally wrap out the chance of 31 or maybe 32, somewhere like central London, that's 88 to 90 Fahrenheit. Uh, Friday starts to bring this trough in from off the Atlantic, so this looks like it's the breakdown day, uh, really, on Friday. Oh, I think there's somebody at the door, so I just better uh, go to the door. Okay, door answered and shopping delivered. Thank you, Sainsbury's. Right, let's carry on. Uh, so we've got to Friday, and uh, yes, here we go, Thunderly Breakdown Day. So we've got this travel low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. It means that we will see the atmosphere wobbling. So uh, I think for many eastern parts of the country, probably a lot of dry weather again on Friday, and I would have thought uh, really hot and probably very humid too. Central and western areas are likely to see cloud bubbling up through the course of Friday and heavy showers and thunderstorms could well break out. I think particularly focus on central northern areas like Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, probably Wales, maybe to the Midlands as well. Possibly southwestern England. Heavy showers, thunderstorms, and torrential rain likely to break out on Friday afternoon. But for much of eastern, particularly southeast England, I suspect those storms will probably be quite hit and miss through Friday. But it's a very long way off, of course, this. Um, and in the southeast, again, it's going to be a hot day. Temperatures going up to around 32. That's 90 Fahrenheit, not out of the question. Uh, in the northwest, though, it will be turning cooler and fresher there with temperatures as the storms push through, uh, beginning to take a bit of a tumble, probably dropping down into upper teens to low 20s. So with a range of somewhere like, uh, say, 18 degrees to 32, very big temperature grains across the country. And that means that, yes, things are likely to go bang 
on um, Friday afternoon. Those storms probably push eastwards overnight, Friday into Saturday, and then as we go through into the weekend, we're back into a different air mass, a cooler, fresher, westerly wind blowing for both Saturday and the Sunday ring showers if not perhaps for the north some longer spells of rain temperatures dropping back and returning close to their long-term averages over the weekend i would have thought uh finally just having a look at charts of weather outlook so again one or two scattered showers around today but yeah it is on quite a bit of dry weather until it turns eventually wet and windy in the far west uh, overnight and into tomorrow we see this wet and windy weather sweeping across the country through the course of the morning it will clear through very quickly and then we're left with sunshine and showers most of those showers in the north and west very few if any down in the southeast quite warm to our afternoon in the sunshine in the southeast and then as we go through into Monday well showery rain for the northwest but most places turning dry plenty of sunshine and temperatures becoming warm and that really is a trend for Tuesday and through Wednesday as well. Bags of sunshine coming through. It's going to be turning hot as well, particularly so in the south and the southeast. I mean, it stays hotter. It gets hotter, actually, as we go through Thursday and Friday, with temperatures probably going up to around 90 Fahrenheit, maybe even a little bit more. I, I wouldn't rule it out that we might go to, say, 33, somewhere like the middle of London, through uh, Thursday and Friday. But what we will find is that as the humidity increases, have a classic thundery breakdown, this doesn't show the storms all that well, but I think we will have heavy showers and thunderstorms breaking out, particularly on Friday. And then that takes us into a cooler and fresher uh, and much more comfortable weekend next weekend. Uh, right, so in summary, very interesting week. We've got our hottest week of the uh, year so far. And yes, we're going to be see seeing temperatures lifting up day by day. But we're starting off um, rather showery for this weekend with wet and windy weather. And then as we go through into, uh, into next week, we see the temperature turning dry, hot, humid. Uh, and eventually, by the end of next week, we could get some big thunderstorms followed by cooler winds off the Atlantic for next weekend. Uh, OK, so that's it weekend forecast. We'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day video update, including all of the usual features. And then tonight we've got our Beijing Climate Centre versus CFS mashup. Come back for all of the videos uh, later on. That's all for weekend forecast, though, and thanks for watching.